Hello and welcome everyone to Asimath Education. Today in this video presentation, we will learn about stratigraphic contacts and how they are different from unconformities. We know that stratified rocks are made up of different beds or beds of different lithologies. When these beds lie or overlie one another in sequence, the junction between these two constitutes the stratigraphic contact. This contact is generally vertical, but it can also be lateral when one rock appears another horizontally. These are normal type of depositional contacts, but there can be others that includes intrusive or structural in nature. So let's see these contacts one by one. Stratigraphic contacts and their identification. In simple words, we can say the stratigraphic contact is the boundary between two rock units. Now let's see the vertical depositional contact. When beds are deposited over one another, there is a junction between the two beds. This junction between the beds is known as stratigraphic contact. This contact may be confirmable or it may be unconfirmable. Confirmable contact indicates unbroken deposition where there is no perceptible break and sequence is uninterrupted. Vertical contact may be abrupt or may be gradational. In abrupt contact, two different kinds of rocks, let's say sandstone and limestone, are in contact one overlying another along a fixed line. While there is no break, the rock changes suddenly. The gradational contact so gradual changes upward from one rock type to another. For example, an underlying sandstone may slowly become calcareous with the addition of calcium carbonate content and with increasing amount of calcium carbonate may eventually become limestone. This change is not along a particular line but it, it is extended for considerable thickness of rock. When beds deposit in the horizontal manner, they also extend laterally in the all the direction up to the basin extremity. However, the thickness of individual strata may increase or decrease as we follow the beds laterally. A particular bed may even taper off and can be replaced by another bed with different lithology. The lateral contacts are never abrupt they are generally traditional as we can see in this particular diagram. Third type of contact is intrusive contact. Uh, sedimentary rock may be intruded by igneous rocks in form of sills, dikes and batholiths. A sill is an intrusion that is parallel to the strata. So it shows concordant relationship with the rock layers. Whereas the dike is one which cuts across the strata, so it shows discordant relationship with a sedimentary sequence. A sedimentary sequence may be faulted after its deposition as a result of a structural deformation. A fault essentially is a shear fracture which disrupts the sequence of a strata along a plane that cuts across the bedding. As a result, the rocks of different kinds or different lithology and different age, they come into contact with each other along a discordant plane that may be cutting across the bedding. As in this particular case, the one block is going down and another block is going up as a result of normal faulting. Now let's learn about unconfirmable contacts. A break in a stratigraphic record takes place when sediment is not being deposited or when some previously deposited sediment has been removed by the process of erosion. Such break in a stratigraphic record is called as hiatus. And the indication of hiatus in a stratigraphic record is known as unconformity. In other words, we can say unconformity is a surface that is indicative of either break in sedimentation or period of erosion separating two different strata. This period can be long or this period can be short. The unconformities are of various types and generally it can be 
identified on the basis of certain characteristic. So now let's see different types of unconformities. Angular unconformity. Angular unconformity is in fact one of the most easily identifiable unconformities. In angular unconformity, the two sets of strata are at an angle that is not parallel to each other. Generally, the lower strata is tilted and more deformed in comparison to the overlying set of rocks that may also be tilted at different angle. But these two different sets of strata are going to make certain angle in case of angular unconformity. An angular unconformity is produced as a result of deformation of older rocks during the period of upliftment and non-deposition and in the later stage the younger strata are deposited over this tilted beds or erosional surface of tilted bed. Then this may further undergo deformation and we may have both the sequence tilted. So it can be easily recognized in the field because of this peculiar angular relationship between two sets of strata or two sequences. In non-conformity, an igneous or metamorphic rock is overlain by the sedimentary rock or we can say the crystalline rock is overlain by some sedimentary bedded rocks or it may be a positive angle. This line of contact is always an erosional surface and it represents a hiatus or break and deposition. So whenever we have such type of contact, we call it non-conformity. Disconformity is marked by a erosional surface, but there is no angular difference between the underlying and overlying sequence of beds. The erosion may be indicated by presence of pebbles or boulder bed or the development of layer of old soil that is called as paleosol. Disconformities are harder to recognize because there are seldom any clear indication of break and deposition. They can be recognized either by presence of pebble beds or paleosols or by comparing the underlying and overlying beds in respect to the rock type and their fossil contents. In paraconformity, the bedding planes in lower as well as upper sequence of rocks are parallel and there is no apparent break or evidence of erosion that could indicate the period of non-deposition. This type of unconformity is very difficult to recognize in the field since it marks a period of non-deposition that has not left any evidences. The only way of recognizing such unconformity is by analyzing the fossil contents in the two strata that may indicate the time span of non-deposition. So in this video presentation, we have learned about the stratigraphic contacts that includes the conformable contact, intrusive contacts, structural contact and unconformable contact. In the next lecture, we will study about the collection of stratigraphic data from the field. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.